Hello, this is Kubolt and today I will show you how to retarget uh, animations from Pistol Animset Pro animation pack to one of the Mixamo characters. Um, so first, let's open the Pistol Animset Pro main folder and go to the skeleton, so here, and let's open the skeletal mesh, right? Uh, now, second step is to show advanced options and make sure that all the bones are properly configured so root and pelvis has to be animation and the rest has to be skeleton um, next we open retarget manager and we see that the skeleton is not configured so let's select a uh, here select rig and select humanoid rig right so all the bones have referenced themselves because um, the names match. Names on the skeleton match the uh, pre-programmed names uh, in the Unreal 4. This is Unreal uh, 4.1 by the way. So let's go and minimize this. And the next step we have to do is to put this character to T-pose. So let's view the pose here and it's not T-pose. So what we have to do basically uncheck this is to go and move this to typos so let's start with clavicles and the other one you can do it uh, just like you know um, there's no math in it so you just do it uh, so it looks okay to you uh, right so let's move here Let's make sure it's local. Change the local access to local, and it has to be more or less um, in T pose. Uh, it's more or less because every animation, every every character that you will be retargeting, retargeting to differs. So the most important thing in retargeting is that both characters are in the same pose that uh, the pose is, is uh, similar so this is more or less the pose let's check it on the right arm sorry the left clavicle should be a little bit lower and the arm should be a little bit higher that's more or less the pose and we click save pose here right it's reset but when you press view pose okay now let's turn it off and let's save our skeleton and mesh and exit next step is to make sure that mixamo character pack has similarly configured um, skeleton let's pick Zoe here let's go to Animes and there's the Mixamo Zoe skeleton. So, again, show advanced options. It's all set to animations, so it's wrong. Let's right click and go um, recursively set uh, skeleton. And hips will be animation. That's it. Uh, let's save it. And then let's go to Retarget Manager. And we see the skeleton is not configured so let's go to select humanoid in case of mixamo characters they they use uh, autodesk human ik skeleton not you uh, not ue4 skeleton so you have to reference all the bones manually let's do that now so root mixamo character has no root you can add it in maya add a root one and reference it here or just skip it but you won't be able to use root motion. Pelvis is hips, spine, spine one, spine two, clavicles, so left shoulder, arm. Okay, I'll just shut up and just do it, all right? Because that's quite a lot of work. We 
you can see that the head is already referenced, same name. Okay, so that would be it for basic uh, bones, but we also have to click show advance and reference all the fingers. Alright, Mixama character doesn't have twist bones, so we skip them. And, oh yeah, ball, so I don't know why it's called ball, but it's uh, toe base, so left toe base and right toe base. Right, the character is referenced, and we see it's pretty much in T-pose. Um, the key is not really to have a T-pose, you can um, basically do whatever pose you want, T-pose is just the most comfortable. So the only important thing is that both characters are in the same pose to have good retargeting. So once again we, we can save it. View pose. Yeah, T-pose, so save pose. Let's save the skeleton and save the mesh. Let's close it and let's test how the animations are retargeting. So let's go to for example pistol name set pro in place animations because the mixam character doesn't have a root and let's for example take pistol walk forward loop right click retarget aim sets and let's choose zoe skeleton we see the skeletons are more or less in the same pose but the unreal characters has legs a little bit apart uh, than zoe here so let's fix it since we already know this will retarget not that good so what we have to do here is to go to the retargeting pose clicking view pose and selecting let's select right upper leg and move the legs a little bit apart so they are like in the pistol aim set pro skeleton let's click save pose and once again save the skeleton, save the mesh, exit and now let's try to retarget the animation so let's um, let's pick walk forward loop as our test animations right click, retarget aim set, duplicate select skeleton and select it's retargeted let's see how it went let's go to aims, that's the new animation that we created here's Zoe, so that's our first retargeting result we can see the hands are not matching here and we will fix it right now so there are two ways to fix it um, first is um, using IK and that's how actually AAA, anime, AAA games do it they always use IK for uh, aiming but let's do it without IK first Let's close it. Let's once again go to Zoe 
skeleton and the left hand didn't quite match the right hand so let's view the pose in the target manager let's select the left shoulder let's move it a little bit back you, you need to experiment here because I'm not sure exactly if this will do but let's try it and let's go to right shoulder move it a little bit back and right arm a little bit back save pose save mesh save exit okay let's go to our in place and walk forward loop right click okay now the result of the retargeting should be a little bit different because I changed the rotations of the arm on this skeleton so select and here's the animations how it looks now okay I overdid it a little bit but you get the picture if I move the arm in the T pose the effects are a little bit different so let's try to do it properly now is our skeleton view pose let's grab the left arm and move it a little bit further forward maybe this will do save 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 let's go to our animation right click retarget select okay that's the third instance okay it's pretty much good now but we could do a little degree right hand one degree up stuff like that basically that's how you retarget animations in unreal 4 um, and you actually should use IK for aiming uh, that's it guys thanks